Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on my face. If you don't know me, my name is Angeli. I'm really excited to show this look to you guys. It's an affordable fall look using all drugstore products. So I was really going for a look that everybody could afford to buy because I know that it could get really pricey once you start adding up all the products from like Sephora or something. So this is something really easy that you could buy at Walmart, CVS, anywhere, literally. So if you haven't subscribed to me yet, go ahead and subscribe down below. I will wait for you to subscribe right now. <laughs> okay, and if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up so I know you like it. Comment down below, I like this look or I love this fall look if you really, really like it. If you haven't followed me yet, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I will put down the links um, in the description box to everything that I... I'm using in this video so it's easier for you guys to click search and buy so with that being said let's get right into it to start off you want to make sure you have a very clean canvas so I'm gonna use my Garnier micellar water with a cotton pad and rub that all around my face for my primer I'm going to use the Nivea men sensitive post shave balm this has become my favorite primer because it makes your makeup last all day long for today's look, I'm going to use a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. This is kind of a first impression, I've never used this before. And guys, please, when you're blending out, you really don't need a beauty blender. You could go out and buy the Real Techniques Beauty Blender, which is almost the same thing and much more affordable. You also get two blenders for the price of $8. That's way less than 20 bucks. This one is also a first impression. I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Brunette. I've never used this before, so you guys will be trying out, it out with me. And um, this is the first time you're going to see me do my eyebrows on camera, so there you go, guys. I can honestly tell you I am absolutely in love with this product. It only cost me $7, and compared to the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is what I would usually use, it does the job. Let me tell you, it does it. For my concealer, I'm going to use a NYX HD Photo Concealer in the number 4. And I'm just going to start making lines underneath my eyes, underneath my nose, on my forehead, and down my nose. I'm also going to use that same concealer to prime my eyes and of course we're going to use our blender to blend out everything and make sure everything is in place. I'm going to use the Airspun Loose Face Powder to pack that underneath my eyes. This is the first time I'm using it, so this is another first impression. I'm just going to pack that underneath my eyes and anywhere that I know will crease as usual. You guys, I am so impressed and so amazed with this product. I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder that cost me $38. This cost me 5 now that I've set my eyes, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild 738 Comfort Zone Palette. With my Morphe M503 Blending Brush, I'm going to use that third milk chocolatey brown color for the transition shade. 
I know this isn't a drugstore product, but Morphe brushes are extremely affordable. They start from $1.99 to like $15, and I think if you're starting out a collection, this would be a great brand to start with. I remember guys, like I said in my first video, just keep blending, just keep blending, just keep blending, 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 what do we do? We blend, blend. Now I'm going to brush out all the excess powder using a Morphe brush. This one doesn't have a name because I actually got it in a set. They have a variety of those so I'll just link it down below and if you're thinking about buying some, go ahead and click on that link. For my lid, I'm going to use the dual chrome beautiful color that you're seeing my little whale on using the Eco Tools eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to pack that all over my eyelid. For this makeup look, I wanted to not only do something affordable, but something that everyone can wear. So I didn't want it to be so intense, but for it to say, hey fall, what's poppin', I'm here. So I'm just gonna keep packing that onto the eyelid and also on my other eye, doing the same exact thing. Now I'm going to deepen my crease by using the same color and brush I used earlier. You see my little unicorn wheel? We're going to use that color for the brow bone. Using that same milk chocolatey color, I'm going to use that underneath my eye and that's just going to deepen the color all together. To contour my face, I'm going to use the e.l.f. blush and bronzer. I'm just going to use that color to bronze my face and I don't want it to look so intense so I think that's a perfect shade. Also, it cost me just $4 at Target. And to pack that in and blend that out, I am using my Morphe G4 brush. That is my absolute favorite blush brush. I finally said that right. It's always a tongue twister for me. Try to say blush brush three times without stopping. Now I'm going to grab my bronzer with my pinkies and I'm going to rub that onto my nose. That's just going to contour my nose using absolutely no brush. Using my beauty blender, I'm going to grab the Airspun Loose Face Powder and I'm just going to define the contour with that. Using the same color I used for my brow bone, I'm going to use that for my inner corner and that's just going to make your eyes open a little bit more. I don't usually use drugstore mascaras because everything gives me allergies, but why not? Ooh, I use the Maybelline Colossal Cat Eye Mascara. This is one of the best mascaras i found to date. Don't you just hate when that happens? Now I'm gonna brush off the excess powder using my Morphe brush. And now for my favorite part, I'm gonna use my favorite ColourPop in Kapow. I have tried other liquid lipsticks and these are my favorite. They only cost $6. And they're so long lasting. The only thing is that they are a little bit dry, but they are definitely manageable compared to $20, $30 liquid lipsticks. I recommend for these liquid lipsticks for you to use a liner. I didn't have one that actually matched this color, which is why I didn't use it, but I found it a little bit difficult to deal with. So I would definitely recommend buying or using a lip liner. So that was my tutorial on this look. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys could 
go out there and try to make it your own. If you actually sat through this whole entire video, then comment I love fall down below. Also, subscribe to my channel if you're really liking my videos. Give it a thumbs up and follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I will be doing a lot more videos, so stay tuned every Sunday. And I might even post more videos on random days, so just stay tuned. Follow me on my social medias, and I will let you know when I will be posting. Bye, guys.